Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Not all the time, but often, it's nice to end a beautiful meal with a dessert. It wraps up everything so nicely. During the summertime though, I tend to serve desserts with fruits in it or something very cold like ice cream. But there's one that I love making because I find it light and so summery. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my coconut cream pie. Mm. This is such a lovely classic dessert recipe. The custard is rich with a nice layer of whipped cream on top, sprinkled with toasted coconut flakes. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a very flavorful pie. So my friends, let's get cooking. First, let's place some parchment paper at the bottom of an unbaked pie shell. Now, if you want to make your own dough, click on the top right corner of your screen. Now we'll add the pie weights and try to spread evenly before transferring to a 450 degree preheated oven. We'll bake for 15 minutes. Now, we'll carefully remove the parchment paper and its contents and let the pie crust cool off completely. Meanwhile, we'll move on to the next step. In a bowl, we'll whisk four egg yolks very well. Then, we'll take a dish towel and form a donut with it to hold the bowl for the egg yolks. This is a great trick when tempering the eggs because the bowl stays put and doesn't slide everywhere. All right. So now, in a medium saucepan, we'll add cornstarch, granulated sugar, and ground sea salt. We'll give a quick whisk before pouring in the coconut milk and half and half. We'll set the heat on medium and stir until the ingredients are nicely combined. We'll bring the mixture to the point just before it starts to simmer. The best way to know is there will be some steam coming up from it. So when it gets there, we'll ladle in some hot mixture and pour a little at a time into our egg yolks, whisking constantly. We want to bring up the egg temperature without curling them. This is called tempering. So at first, we'll go slowly and then add a little more until we know that the yolks are warm enough without cooking. Now we'll go ahead and take the egg yolk mixture and slowly pour in the saucepan. Again, whisking constantly even after the yolks are in. We'll continue whisking until the sauce thickens, about a minute to a minute and a half, making sure to scrape the bottom of the saucepan. The consistency we're looking for is like pudding. See, something like that. So when we achieve it, we'll remove from the heat and without waiting any longer, We'll add melted butter, pure coconut extract, then vanilla extract, and one cup of coconut flakes. We'll stir very well until the ingredients are well blended, and then transfer the mixture into our prepared pie shell. Using a spatula, we'll level the custard. Now, to prevent a skin formation, we'll place some wax paper, making sure that it touches the surface. We'll let it cool for 15 minutes before transferring it to the fridge. Meanwhile, we'll toast the remaining half a cup of coconut flakes in a skillet over medium heat. And we'll keep an eye on it so the flakes don't burn by tossing them often. Slowly, the flakes will start to change color, just like this. The process should take around 10 minutes. What we want is a nice golden color on them. If there are some white flakes here and there, it's fine, don't worry. So we'll remove from the heat and transfer them to a bowl to cool off. All right, the next step is to make the whipped cream. We'll pour in cold, heavy cream in the bowl of a stand mixer, then add powdered sugar. By the way, do me a favor. Don't buy it and make your own by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. And we'll also add pure vanilla extract. Then we'll process until stiff peaks form. 
I'm not going into details about making the whipped cream, but here's a great link on the top right corner of your screen to make it perfect every time. So check it out. Okay, so now let's assemble our pie. So gently remove the wax paper before adding the whipped cream and we'll spread it out evenly all the way to the edge of the pie crust. Finally, we'll sprinkle the toasted coconut flakes on top and refrigerate until ready to serve. And my friends, this is how coconut cream pie. Wow, this is such a delicious dessert. Creamy, rich and so tasty, it's an amazing pie you just have to make. With its beautiful coconut flavor, it's a great sweet treat you can enjoy anytime. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit! Thank <laughs> you.